I just woke up. I'm not quite sure how alive and just awake I look, <laughs> but I'm getting ready and packing for my trip to Peru. I leave tomorrow, February 7th, and I thought I would shoot a video showing you what I'm packing. I'm a little concerned because I want to make sure that I'm prepared. Um, by the time this is posted, it'll be too late for comments to impact my travels and things that I bring, but maybe this helps you in some kind of way. It's kind of a collection of things that I've gathered from just talking to people, posting about it, researching, and yeah. So here's what I'm bringing to Peru. First things first, I'm bringing a hiking bag this Jansport one to pack all my things in. It's good to carry on my back. It looks like a mess, um, but I don't have to check the bag and it can go on the plane. There's no issues, at least I hope not. I got this on Poshmark for $25. I highly recommend if you ever need anything like this, check Poshmark because you'd be surprised the kind of stuff that you could get on there and you'll save so much money. A bag like this might run you hundreds of dollars, especially brand new. I got this used, it's in great condition and it was 25 bucks, I mean, you can't beat that. Also, you could borrow from a friend if, need, if you need to, but I just bought it myself. <laughs> Part of the itty bitty titty committee, so I'm probably not gonna bring bras. Instead, I'm bringing these fitness shirts. These are from Lululemon and I'm layering them with t-shirts because I think layers are gonna be a savior for me in the different climates and altitudes that I'm gonna be in. So I will wear a shirt like that with something like this over it. I'm only bringing two of those, but I'm bringing a few of these for options just so I'm not wearing the same thing every day. It's also going to be raining a lot and I don't wanna be just wearing wet clothes. Those are fast drying so it doesn't really matter these might not be so efficient, but I can change them out if I need to. I've got some leggings. We're gonna be relatively active, so I don't plan on wearing jeans or anything like that. These are all really good water resistant type situation. Um, not water resistant, but they'll dry quick if they need to. I'm probably not gonna bring five pairs. I'm going for five days, but I'll probably condense this down to maybe three or four pairs. I've got a bathing suit because we're going to hot springs and I think we are, but I also know we're doing a sweat lodge and I'm excited about that. Super terrified to wear this bathing suit though because I'm not a bathing suit kind of girl. I'm bringing the camera that I'm recording with as well as my tripod. I can show you the camera in the mirror, <laughs> but it's this guy. I love this camera and it has this flip option. This is gonna get weird. So you can kind of like see yourself when you're recording. My nose is running like crazy. Um, it's really cool because you can see yourself. You can make sure that you don't look like a psycho. Um, views, you can get all like the views and stuff and I sound ridiculous, but just I'm excited to have a camera to travel with. So this guy, and it's a G7X Canon. In case you're wondering, I could link it in the description as well. I've got my vitamins, which I plan to condense. I always bring my vitamins when I travel. I no longer take this. However, I don't have a multivitamin at the moment, so I'm gonna bring it with me. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. I just noticed that it wasn't strong enough for what I needed. I will be replacing this when I get back, but these three are amazing. I do plan on bringing them and I'll just take out the pills that I need and that's it. My hiking boots. These are from Will's Vegan Shoes. So they are vegan hiking boots. They're really comfortable. I broke them in already. As you can see, they didn't come with this like muddy splattered effect. Um, yeah, so those are my shoes. I've got a rain jacket. This guy will be really useful because it's gonna be pretty wet while we're there. We're staying in hostels, so I'm bringing a sheet 
a pillowcase, and a blanket. I also have a towel, my hair towel, because I'm high maintenance. And yeah, I don't just want to be prepared. Back here we have my socks. I have socks for hiking as well as socks for in the hostel situation, underwear for night, underwear for during the day because I don't sleep wearing thongs, some pajamas. I don't know if I'm bringing one of these just yet, but probably a sweatshirt just in case I'm chilly at any point. Then we have a hat. I might not bring a, I might not bring a hat and scarf because I'm thinking that I might buy one there. We'll see, but if I do, these will probably be the ones I bring. Fly your own plane, because I do my thing. Then I've got my gloves, which I will be bringing, and a bag to pack within my bag <laughs> for if I just wanna, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have my toiletries. So I'm gonna pack my stuff in this pouch. It, most of this will fit in there. The rest of it I have another pouch. And then I have some reading because I have three connecting flights, lots of layovers, and I'm gonna be just doing a lot of crazy shit. So I've got two books. I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna bring these two just yet. We'll see. I have my journal because I journal every night. And then this is my Reiki guide that my friend Julia gave me because we've been getting Reiki attuned with her. We're actually gonna be finishing going over the information in one of our layovers and then possibly getting attuned at the top of Machu Picchu, which is amazing. I'm so excited about. I also have sunglasses, a hairbrush. I don't typically wear makeup, but I have mascara, some eyeshadow liner stuff, and I always wear eyebrow gel because my eyebrows have a mind of their own. And no, this I know this is not a vegan cruelty free product. I didn't know it when I bought it. It's really old. Um, if you have suggestions for a clear brow gel thing, let me know. I've got my selenite for absorbing all that bad shit. Another high maintenance travel product. They're eye gels. I like to wear face masks or things like this when I'm on the plane because my skin gets really affected by it. I also have actual face masks and all my products, sample sizes, sunscreen, sunscreen powder, lotion for my dentures. No, I'm just kidding. It's for my Invisalign. Then I have a toothbrush. This is body lotion because my skin will get dry in the climate that we're going to be in and I also, also and also, <laughs> I want to just take care of my skin. We have this kit paste that I'm a little nervous about because, to be quite honest, I... Come on. Okay, <laughs> now that it's in focus, I don't really like Schmidt's deodorant. I prefer um, kit paste, but I didn't see it in a travel size, so I got this guy. Hopefully I don't smell like a wild animal this whole trip, but we'll see. Toothpaste, hand lotion, toothbrush. This is my dry brush. I use this as a wet and dry brush, so I'll dry brush my skin and then use it in the shower to exfoliate and wash with. And I have, this says facial wash, but it's actually body wash. I have shampoo and conditioner. This is for my razor because I don't want to be a hairy monster. I have a diva cup because even though I just finished my moon, you never know and I can't use tampons so it helps to be repaired. My passport so I can get into the country to begin with and that's pretty much it. Um, <laughs> so that's, that's everything. <laughs> um, at this point I'm probably going to try to shove it all into that bag. I wouldn't, I probably should do that on camera, but I'm not going to because there's a couple things that I wanna just throw into the wash and I have so much shit to do that I just don't have time to do that. So trust me, <laughs> but this is all stuff that I will pack into that bag that I showed you. It'll be carried onto the plane and won't be checked 
and I still have plenty of space for if I decide to purchase things, which I probably won't do much of. I probably won't do much shopping. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. Let me know if you like these kinds of videos and it might be too late, but tell me if there's anything that I could be missing because if I do get this up before tomorrow, then you could possibly save my life. Okay, thanks. Bye.